In the winter of 2016, Last Chance for Animals investigated a Canadian pig farm where 1,600 mother pigs are confined and left to suffer the effects of continuous breeding. Piglets with severe injuries were left to die or thrown onto the concrete. This baby pig lies breathing, still alive after being slammed to the ground like this. LCA's investigation revealed that despite assurances of humane treatment of the pigs used for its products, neglect and mistreatment were routine at Olimel supplier Crimson Lane Farms. These newborn piglets struggle to free themselves from the metal flooring in the stalls that confine them along with their mother. Smaller piglets become trapped as their legs pass through the grating. Their fragile limbs twist and break as they try to escape. Pigs are so restricted by the bars of the cages where they give birth that they can't see their offspring underfoot. These constraints cause piglets to be crushed and killed as their mothers lie down to nurse them. The bars of their gestation stalls create deep pressure sores on the pigs and constant contact in the farrowing crates prevents the wounds from healing. Hundreds of newborns are processed each week at Crimson Lane Farms. All piglets have their teeth cut out with dull metal snips, which are also used to rip open male piglet skin as they are castrated. The crude procedure can cause them to rupture, allowing their intestines to spill out of their bodies. Both male and female piglets have their tails cut off. Piglets who do not succumb to illness or injury are thrown against the concrete floor. These imprecise blows don't guarantee instant death, and live piglets are left among the dead, still clinging to life. A mother pig who has just given birth is kicked and hit with a sharp metal object at this Olimel supplier. This pregnant pig is repeatedly kicked. Here, the farm manager is trying to force an expectant pig into her farrowing crate, hitting and kicking her. Even though she will give birth in days, he shocks her repeatedly with an electric prod. He then uses the hot shot on another pig, jamming it into her sensitive hindquarters. These piglets were aborted after their mother was shocked the day before. Mother pigs who have repeatedly given birth are at risk of prolapses, where their internal reproductive organs are discharged from their body. If they prolapse after they give birth, they are often kept alive by the farm in order to nurse their piglets before they are killed. Here, a worker shoves a PVC pipe into the rectum of this pig who has prolapsed. She is never seen by a veterinarian, and the pipe is left inside her for days. Genetic selection has created unnaturally large litters of piglets at Crimson Lane Farms with numerous frail newborns who die within days. They are then ground up and fed back to their mothers. Crimson Lane Farms pigs are slaughtered by Olimel, Canada's largest pig processor whose products are found in Walmart, Metro, and Real Canadian Superstore all of which assure the public that their suppliers adhere to policies that guarantee the humane treatment of their animals. LCA's investigation reveals that these claims are unsupported, as this piglet is thrown to the concrete, kicked, and then stepped on. 
This prolapsed pig drags her exposed tissue across a feces-covered pen. And this mother pig, no longer able to stand, lies without access to food or water. Enforcement of animal cruelty laws is rare on factory farms, even though evidence shows that abuse is rampant throughout the industry. LCA's legal analysis of the evidence collected during this and other investigations provides the crucial guidance for law enforcement to prosecute offenders and the framework to challenge cruel industry standards.